The chair recognizes Tri-County Coalition in Texas. Um, you're, it's, you're on. Join me in thanking Ralph Smith uh, once again and the Annie E. Casey Foundation, uh, Ms. Cortez, and the National Civic League. Come on, join me in thanking them one more time. You can do better than that. I just want to kind of change the pace up just a little bit. Uh, I know that we've been talking a whole lot about Amen. collaborations <laughs> and engagement and a lot of other different things, but I want to give us a chance to exhibit our enthusiasm for collaborations and all of that. And uh, so I want y'all to <laughs> join me with a little crowd participation. Okay. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I just want everybody to stand to your feet and put your hands together just like this. Crowd participation. We've got to have everybody doing it. Listen, can you say go Texas, go Texas, go? Go Texas, go. Go Texas, go Texas, go. Go Texas, go Texas, go. Now I need somebody, anybody, everybody to scream. Thank you very much. That's collaborative cooperation at its best. In the Tri-County Coalition, we pride ourselves on being able to engage everyone in a collaborative effort. The Tri-County Coalition is three counties, rural counties, mind you that are adjoined together in rural southeast Texas. That's rural without the R. <laughs> population of about 100,000. Population within all the school districts combined, about 25,000. Our economic backbone had been in the past agriculture, but in the recent, few, in the recent past, it's dwindled to probably 10% of our economic prowess. We have poverty, we have ex extreme poverty in all areas of the Tri-County area, Colorado, Matagorda, and Warden County. But we've made a, a, a direct impact in our collaborative effort. We know that even in our school districts, 50% of all of our children are receiving reduced or free lunches. Here's a case in point that I'd just like to share with you. Not only am I the vice chair of the Tri-County Coalition, but I'm also the founder and executive director of one of the organizations that benefits directly from the Tri-Coalition's involvement, from their resources. The organization that I head is called Just Do It Now. We're a hands-on organization, and we've, we've, we've exemplified that, and we spread that throughout the coalition. We believe in acting first and ask, asking questions later. Here's one of the case in points that literally shows us that literacy is literal. Kid came to my office who had been in our after school, our summer learning program for over three years. When he came, he could barely uh, identify any of his letters. He came into my office about three weeks ago, sat down in, in one of my chairs across from my desk, and said, Mr. Gregg, can I read for you? I said, sure, Reuben. Go ahead and read. Reuben reached over and grabbed one of the books out of, my sh out, of, out of my bookshelf and began to read a paragraph. Reuben read the paragraph to me. Uh, right after, he slammed the book closed and said, now, Mr. Gregg, can I eat? <laughs> can I get something to eat? We laughed. Sounds like a joke, but Reuben literally needed something to eat. We looked at Reuben, I looked at Reuben, and I said, Reuben, if you continue to learn how to read, you'll not only eat today, but you'll eat for a lifetime. Amen. My assignment was simply, my assignment, the clock didn't stop a mile out of time? Yeah. My assignment, <laughs> my assignment by my team was to come up and tell who we are, what we do, and how we're doing it. I haven't clicked my clicker. Just do it 
click it for yeah. just do it now. Yeah, just do it without it. But one of the things that we want to make sure that we articulate to the group is that we want to create a pipeline for lifelong learning. I think that the uh, um, one of the one of the uh, uh, wrinkles that that another group had that they stated they wanted the uh, cradle to career. That's it, cradle to career. But I think that in the coalition, our motto is from the from the twinkle to the wrinkle. <laughs> from the time you're young and born to the time you're old, a lifelong pipeline for learning. I've got to be honest, I've got to be honest as I, as I come to a close. One of the things that we pride ourselves on uh, throughout the coalition with every organization uh, is our, our ability to engage, our ability to collaborate, our willingness to take nothing and make something out of it. We've literally done that in our rural area. We've taken nothing and made something out of it. We seem to have taken a passage uh, from, a, from a guy who did that when he created the world. There was nothing out there, and he spoke, and something happened. We take pride in being able to engage all of our three county judges, all of our school districts, all of our, all of our community leaders, and we know that because we've done that, there are a lot of Rubens out there in our communities. And our, our word and our, the thing that we want to leave with you today is that Reuben will always eat because Reuben will always have organizations like you and ours and the coalitions that are standing behind him to make sure they, they get the vantage point of being able to get educated in this great state of ours. Once again, we want to thank all of you, thank all of the, the, the organizers, all of our national partners, and we want to just say this one last thing. Yeah! All right. <laughs>